I'm here to actually tell you how to lucid dream in the easiest way possible. I taught myself how to lucid dream when I was 11, so let's go. The first thing you're gonna do is lay down in a position you will not move from the entire time. Your body has to be still for a certain amount of time to actually go to sleep, so that's why. The entire time during this process, keep repeating what you want to dream about softly under your breath and then eventually just start repeating it again and again and again in your mind. Just keep repeating what you want to happen in the dream. Or a certain place, a certain person, a certain thing, whatever you want to dream about. You're going to have these urges to move or shift a little. Do not do it. You have to stay still. Next, you're going to feel a kind of weird sensation in your chest, almost like you're kind of being pulled up, but don't freak out and don't open your eyes. Opening your eyes, you will just fall asleep with your eyes open. Eventually, you'll be somewhere new and you'll feel a sort of haze over everything. That's how you can recognize you are in a dream. Have fun and if you want to change the scenario or what's happening, just think about it and it'll happen. I sold my soul to the devil for a designer, they said go to hell, but I told them I don't want it. If you know me well, then you know that I ain't going cuz I don't want For me, this is one of the easiest lucid dreaming techniques there is out there. All right, this is the wake back to sleep technique sorry anyway so you set an alarm that is not repeating it just wakes you up six to seven hours after you're falling asleep this is usually in the middle of your REM cycle aka your dreaming cycle so then when the alarm wakes you up you stay awake you write down what you remember if you were dreaming in your dream journal you stay awake for about 30 minutes or so but don't move around too much try to keep your brain awake but your body more or less asleep so then you try to settle back in and you try to go back in there and when you feel your body starting to drift away move your eyes about underneath your eyelids usually what is supposed to happen is it sends you back into a dream yeah This is the quickest and easiest way to lucid dream tonight. And I have never talked about this before, so be ready. It's called the Hyald Technique. And it is known as hypnosis-induced lucid dreaming. And essentially, all you're going to do is right before you go to bed, you're going to hypnotize your brain into remembering your dreams, making them more vivid, and maybe even making them lucid. Literally, all you have to do is right before you go to bed, you're going to lay down and you're going to listen to a hypnosis soundtrack on lucid dreaming. And I have a link to that video in my Instagram bio. All you're doing is subconsciously telling your brain to be more aware while you're sleeping to produce those lucid dreams. It involves no sleep paralysis, no waking up in the middle of the night. It just takes 20 minutes to listen to the soundtrack right before you go to sleep. The more consistent you are listening to the video, the better chance you'll have of having a lucid dream. So good luck. Waste your time if the man broke, the man here joke. So you gotta get loose with the henny and the coke. Three, two, one girls wanna have fun. If the man don't Remember, 2018 in that push corolla. Yeah, pouch. Rex in a quarter ounce. Is making love in a lucid dream really what it's all about? Since TikTok took down my last video on this, here's a more PG version for you, TikTok. Let me let you in on a little bit of a secret. Oh yeah. Yes. 100%. Absolutely. I'm not even joking. It is so realistic. It feels exactly like the real thing. And the best part is, is you can do it with whoever you want to. Like, literally anybody. Crush, celebrities, whatever. So if you're in a relationship... It's not working out too well, but you don't really want to break up. Just dream of another girl, bang one out, and keep moving on with your relationship. Highly unrecommended for people who are actually in good relationships because you should really just talk to your partner about that. But this is always an option. So if you want to learn how to do this, hit the follow button. I'm going to be doing a ton of new tutorials on this. Also, TikTok, thanks for the double standard on my videos. Appreciate you taking them down when they are really starting to get some traction. So yeah, thanks.